What's going on YouTube welcome back to another video. So guys with the latest updates the Mercenaries DLC Rockstar made a lot of small changes as well to GT Online and today I wanted to tell you guys about the changes that they made to the RC Bandito time trials. So very quickly for the people who don't know what the RC Bandito time trials are it's basically a time trial just like the regular one. Before the update it used to be a weekly thing so every week we would get a new time trial. And the first time that you complete it every week under the part time, you would get 100k. Now two things have changed. First of all, the RC time trials are now daily. So every day you will get another time trial. And every day if you complete it under the part time, you will get a reward. The next thing they have changed is the reward itself. And instead of 100k, you will now get 75k. It kind of makes sense that they reduced it because instead of having 100k on a weekly basis you can now have 75k on a daily basis and of course if you look at one week you can make a lot more money. If you want to do the time trials by the way you will need the RC Bandito so you can find it on SouthernSanAndreasSuperAutos.com under the special category. It is quite expensive but just keep in mind you will get 75k each day. The time trials don't take that long. I always get them on first try. They take around two to three minutes, sometimes even one minute. In the beginning, it could be that you have to retry a couple of times. But after a while, if you get used to the handling, it will be very easy. So on a daily basis, you will get 75k in two minutes. So the money that you spent on the RC Bandito, you will definitely get it back in no time. By the way, besides the changes that I just mentioned, Rockstar also added 5 new RC Bandito time trials to the list. So that's very good for the people who already did all of them a couple of times, for example like me. Now for the people who are doing these for the first time, I also have some tips. First of all, it's very important to look at the checkpoints during a time trial. So you can see that a RC Bandito time trial is just like a race. It's not like a regular time trial or the HSW one where you just have to go from point A to B. You actually have checkpoints. So then the important thing is that you also look at these checkpoints because the amount of arrows that you have in a checkpoint will actually indicate if the turn is sharp or not. So for example, if you have two arrows, it's a regular turn. If you have one arrow, it's a light turn. And if you have three arrows, it means it's a sharp turn. So the more arrows that you have in a checkpoint, the more careful that you have to be. And in fact, also the more that you will have to slow down. That brings me to the next hint. With the RC Bandito, I don't really recommend that you guys brake too much. So maybe if it's a very sharp turn, but usually when I do these time trials, I never brake. I just release the gas and that's usually enough. If you brake, you might lose control and then you will lose a lot of time. So don't try to do this too much. Then another thing is also look on your map. So it might help you, of course, if you look at the checkpoints. But if you just look on your map, you will also know where the next checkpoint is. And then you can also know what to expect. Of course, you cannot look on your map the entire time trial. So that's why I also say look at the checkpoint itself, because this also indicates where you kind of have to go. Then the last tip I can give you guys is if you crash, don't restart. By the way, you can restart by holding triangle. So that's the same button that you just hold if you want to respawn in a race. But if you crash, don't immediately restart. Just keep on going because over here I have a very nice example. You can see I crashed I think two or three times before the finish and I still made it with I think two or three seconds left. So I definitely didn't do good but I finished under the part time so I got the 78k so it's 75 plus 3 I think for a bonus but it's not that difficult especially if you know how to handle the RC Bandito these time trials are very easy like I said they take you two or three minutes depending on which one it is and you get 75k on a daily basis so very easy money it's very nice that Rockstar did this because this gives you one more thing to do on a daily basis on GTO line because I know that for a lot of people, when you go on GTA, you don't really know what to do. But by having things like the time trial, the stash houses, uh, the drug dealers, stuff like this, you can do a lot of things already in free mode, which makes the game more fun, in my opinion. So guys, that was pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out the Discord in the description. And peace out, you guys.